Good evening, children. It's Granny McDuff, ready with a story. So make yourselves comfy, and I'll begin. Part two. The entrance was like a tunnel now. Vines everywhere, just as it was on the outside. Igor's father lit a small torch, large enough to light the way, but small enough that it hopefully wouldn't draw any attention if they weren't alone. Forward they went, until they found themselves in a great hall. There were books everywhere, but all trapped on the shelves by the vines. Trees grew through the floor, and moss covered the stairs. I remember, I read that there's a place where secrets were kept, somewhere below. Igor and his father searched for a way down. They cut through vines so thick they thought they would never succeed. We must hurry, his father said. Finally, behind a thick wall of ivy, they found a door. Pushing the leaves aside, they opened it, and down they went. Unlike upstairs, this place was preserved just as it had always been, and it seemed no one had been there since the last Grassini left, taking what he could with him before the spiders came. Deep into the earth they went. When they reached the landing, it was pitch black but the torch lit the way. Down a hall they went, finally reaching a room where the archives were kept. Start looking, said Igor's father. No, it is not here, but what will lead us to it is, the boy replied. The code said, in the well where the water ran dry, it is only there you will find it. Well, a passage from a book. I do not know it, Igor admitted. What else did it say? His father asked. In the well where the water ran dry, it is only there you will find it. Inside the stories of old. When a man went to fetch water and found his well dry. Yes, I remember that, said his father. The fables, Igor exclaimed. Yes, said his father. They searched the books, and finally they found it. The Book of Fables. Igor took it from the shelf. Behind it, there was a small knob. Without another thought, Igor turned it. The door opened, revealing a small room. The shelves inside were covered in scrolls and potions. Igor looked over them frantically. There are so many, he said. Take your time. We will find it, his father replied. Sure enough, there it was. A scroll marked with Feldramel next to a bottle and something wrapped in cloth. He unwrapped it. A dagger, said Igor. Let me see. As his father studied the knife, Igor unrolled the scroll. But just as he did, they heard it. The wolf's howl. The warning signal. Put it in your sack, quickly. Igor did as his father told him. And before they knew it, they were running back up into the great hall, through the tunnel, and out into the open. But when they got there, what they saw was more frightening than they had imagined. A great spider stood before them. I can smell you, he said. 
Igor's father pushed him back into the tunnel. Suddenly, they flew through the air and fell in the grass away from the entrance. Run! Igor's father told his son. And they did. They ran fast, straight towards where they had left the flies. And on the way, they met Elementar and the warriors. Keep going! He cried. They didn't stop until they had reached the flies. Fast and hard, they flew out of Sigmanu. When they reached the border, they stopped to rest. Eagle opened his bag and took out the contents. The dagger, the scroll, and the bottle of potion. He read the scroll. Pour the potion on the dagger and cut the heart of the king's spider's web. Like poison, it will spread. The feldramel will fall. Look in the place where only moss grows and no one dares go. Igor's father looked at the dagger. <gasps> That's our signature, you see? The falcon. This was made by my ancestors. And yours, Igor. As Harold, the elder said, it was prophesied that you, Igor, would know what to do when the time came. And so, here we are, said Elementar. But I don't know what to do, cried Igor. Yes, you do, said Elementar. Only moss, and no one dares go? No one dares go into Sigmanu, said Igor. But you did go in. And it wouldn't be now, it would be from then. There was... A story my grandfather told me as a child, a fable. The toad and the stool, said Elementar. I know it, Igor replied. The toad gets lost in the storm and finds himself in a wooded area by the roaring river. He slips on the moss, the place that's hard to find and treacherous. When no one dares go. But how do we find it? You said it yourself. Elementar told him. Follow the river, shouted Igor. So they did. The further they went, the denser the grass became, until the ferns above blocked out all the sunlight. It was dark now. And they could not see very far ahead, but they could hear the river as it roared. They were back in Sigmanu. Torches lighting the way, they forged on until the flies could fly no more. So they continued on foot. Keep your wits about you, Elementar warned. The Feldramel are close. Finally, there it was. The great web. The finest web they had ever seen. One only the Spider King could spin. And then, before they knew it, they were surrounded. Elementar and his men, together with Igor's father, readied themselves for battle. Igor poured the potion over the dagger. On my word, go. Elementar whispered. They waited. And as the spiders began to charge, Elementar shouted, No! The Grassini warriors ran toward the spiders and Eagle sprinted to the web. He was so fast, he almost got tangled in it. The Spider King was fighting Elementar. The Grassini were losing the battle. Igor climbed with all his might. And when he reached the center, he took a deep breath and drove the dagger through the heart of the web. The web began to melt. Igor jumped 
And then there was a sound so high-pitched, so ear-piercingly loud, everything stopped. The spiders cowered, as did the warriors. Cover your ears, Igor cried. And the Grassini did. The spiders ran, with the terrible sound following them. When it was quiet again, they saw the web had completely melted. It was gone. And so were the Feldramel. When the Grassini emerged from under the fern, they saw the mist evaporating and the sun coming out. It was glorious. They all rejoiced. They picked up young Igor and carried him in celebration. They flew home as fast as they could to deliver the good news. When all the Grassini had gathered, Igor stood before them. The Feldramel will not hurt us again, he cried. They are vanquished. We are safe. The Grassini cheered and had three days of celebration. Igor was made keeper of the people. It was his bravery that had saved them. And he would be written about in the history books. The End And now it's time to take a deep breath, close our eyes, so that we may drift off into a world of our own adventure. Good night, children. <laughs>